Hello there, everybody. Thank you so much for stopping by. Before we get started, I do just want to update everybody. We are holding steady at 55% paid off for the Reiki Apprenticeship Program. Thank you so much, all of you, for your support. Hello there, Capricorn. Thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of February 20th through 26th. What we have coming up for you on Monday, Capricorn, is the Four of Cups. Four of Cups just means it's going to be really, really tempting for you on Monday to have one massive blowout pity party, but... You don't have to. <laughs> the solution to that is instead of looking at all the problems, all the things going wrong, all the frustrations, look at the things that are going right. Look at the opportunities that are in front of you. Focus on those. Pity parties help nobody. We've all had them. They feel very righteous when you have them, but really they don't feel all that great. And they also are so non-productive. And not only do they bog us down, but they bog down anybody else that we draw into that. So if we can focus on the positive instead of focusing on the negative on Monday, that will help Monday go by much more enjoyably than otherwise, Capricorn. Now, on Tuesday, what you have showing up is the Seven of Swords in reverse. The Seven of Swords in reverse, Capricorn, just means that there's somebody who has tried to pull off something kind of sneaky around you and now they are trying to, they want to make up for that without actually admitting what they did. So they don't really want to tell you that they tried to pull something sneaky and trust me, you already know, you know exactly what this is all about. Um, and if you're not thinking of it as you hear me, you will as it comes up. As you see them trying to do something nice for you, you're going to know, oh, okay, I got it. Now you're trying to make up for this thing where you thought I didn't know what you were up to. So that's what's going on on Tuesday in your life, Capricorn. Wednesday, what you have coming up, whoops, throwing the card around. What you have coming up <laughs> is the King of Cups. And I'm just laughing because originally he came in reversed and after I tried to pick the card up and it kind of jumped out of my hand, like literally came up right side up. So with the King of Cups flipping like that, I think you're dealing with somebody with one person, Capricorn, who is having some real mood issues on Wednesday, like roller coaster up and down type of mood issues. I think he's going to actually be starting out down because that's the way he started out in the spread. So he's going to be starting out feeling very agitated, very angry, just very pushed and very pushy is how I'm picking this guy up on Wednesday. And then something is apparently going to happen that's going to flip his mood. So he's going to get, I feel like he's getting some kind of news, maybe even from some of you, Capricorn, although I don't feel like that's going to be the case for all of you. But he is going to get some kind of news towards the middle of the day or maybe late morning around 10, 11 in the morning. He's going to get some kind of news and his mood is going to totally flip. And then everything's going to be fine, happy. <laughs> You're going to be like, uh, are you the same person that I walked in and met, saw today when I came to work? Or wherever it is that you're interacting with him, you're just going to be blown away at the extremeness of how his mood flips. And relieved. I'm hearing also and relieved <laughs> when it does flip from really super grumpy to back to normal is what I'm hearing. Calm and sane and peaceful. All right, so uh, let's look at Thursday. Here we have the Ten of Coins showing up in reverse. And when we've got the Ten of Coins showing up in reverse, that's telling me that there's something um, that we derive a sense of security from that is moving in reverse for us. So this could be like maybe the car has a flat tire or the phone is acting up a little bit or um, something like that. Or if there's, you know, if you derive security from a relationship situation, this could be something like, um, realizing that the relationship isn't going as well as you thought it was or something along those lines. But there's something that, w something with something that makes you feel secure in this manifestation is kind of going backwards instead of forwards on Thursday. Now with it being the ten of um, ten of coins in reverse, this is not as major a thing. Like if we had the tower, that would be more of a major thing. This is not as much of a major thing. It's just more of an annoyance uh annoyance type level of moving backwards, you know, have to call the insurance company or have to go get a new phone or whatever, you know, have to change the tire. Okay, so let's look at Friday. 
Friday, Friday. Here you've got the Hierophant showing up, the Hierophant, Hierophant on Friday. I do feel like you're getting some kind of good advice coming in on Friday, and I feel like you are seeking this advice out. So for some of you, this could be actually making an appointment with a lawyer or a therapist or a spiritual leader. Um, for others of you, this could be a good friend that you just really respect their opinion and their perspective. Uh, but definitely getting some kind of good advice coming in on Friday. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. Okay, we have the Falling Tower, and I know I just mentioned the tower, but the Falling Tower is actually good. <laughs> so when the Falling Tower is in reverse, that's when it's good. When it's right side up, that's when it kind of takes your breath away and knocks your feet out from under you. The Falling Tower in reverse coming up on Saturday just tells me that you did have a situation that messed with your sense of security in a bigger way. And now you are recovering from that already. So you are looking around, you're finding opportunities to replace whatever it was that kind of went missing from your life that made you feel secure. And you're finding those opportunities. You're finding those things to replace that. And what you're finding is that those new things that you're coming across are actually better than the old thing that made you feel secure. So you end up with the falling tower in reverse. This really tells the story of not only surviving something that seemed devastating at first, but coming out on top of it in better shape than what you were to begin with. Okay. And then on Sunday, what we have is the moon card in reverse. I consider this a good card. This is kind of my the truth will set you free card. Um, the moon card in reverse just means that you did have a situation in your life, Capricorns, that you knew there was more going on than what you were being told or what you were being led to believe, but you were having a hard time putting your fingers on the actual information that you really needed to have the big picture. So with the moon card coming in reverse on Sunday, what this means is that information that you've been trying to get your fingers on, or maybe you weren't even really trying, you just knew it was out there, whatever, that information is coming up to the surface. Now you're seeing the big picture around the situation. I like this because usually if somebody is trying to withhold information from us or is not being, you know, just volunteering information, there's usually a reason for that, okay? So when this information comes out, um, a lot of times it's inadvertent that it comes out, but when it comes out, this is giving us insights that we wouldn't have had before. And usually these are insights that actually make a difference to us as far as how much we want to be interacting in this whole situation. Once we hear the real deal or see the real deal and have the big picture, we may not want to interact at the same level that we were interacting. We want to make, maybe take our support away from that once we have the big picture. So to me, the moon card in reverse is really a good card. You know, the truth, when the truth comes up, it really lets us make an informed decision instead of guessing you know, what we actually want to do in a situation. And so that's what I see coming up for you on Sunday, Capricorn. Thank you so much, everybody, for stopping by, for hanging out, for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I do appreciate all of your support. I hope to see some of you here this week for Reiki sessions, some of you here this week for readings, and I'll see the rest of you on the next video. Everyone have a fantastic week. Peace out. Hello everybody, this is Amista, and I am coming to you today with something completely different than what you've ever seen here before, completely different than what I ever thought I would do. Um, I have been taking Reiki training, and I've gotten level one, and I've gotten level two, and I really want to take master training because already I've realized that there are other people out there who need to know how to be um, able to do Reiki for themselves. And I'm not able, I'm not qualified to show them that or to teach them that or to pass that on to them or empower them with that until I become a Reiki master. And so I was looking into a Reiki master program and I meet 
all the qualifications as far as that goes. I've been accepted into the master program. But the last little bit of money is what I need some help with, and I'm hoping that you guys um, will help me with that. Um, I need to raise another $3,000 to get myself into the program. And so that's where you guys come in. Um, what I'm doing is I am accepting very happily and very thankfully and very gratefully any donations that you may feel like you would want to give. If you don't want to, obviously, then don't. <laughs> um, but if you do feel like you want to help me to get into this Reiki Master Apprenticeship Program, any help that you, any of you and all of you send is great. Uh, no donation is too small. Um, I just ask that they're over like 35 cents because I think PayPal will take 35 cents of whatever comes in um, as a fee for collecting payment. But anything other than over 35 cents is no do donation is too small. So there's the corrected version of that. Um, and actually I was looking with, I have over 7,000 subscribers. If every subscriber donated a dollar, I would be able to end this um, request. But so if you would like to donate, I would be extremely thankful. I would appreciate that a lot. Also, I want to do something for you in exchange for donating. So anybody who would donate at all, um, I would like to offer you 15 minutes of uh, free Reiki distant healing. In other words, I would send you some healing energy um, where you would not have to come to my house or we would not have to meet in person. Um, just like I do a lot of my readings by Skype or by phone. I can also send the healing energy without having to be right in front of you. We don't even have to be on the phone or on Skype when I do it, although I will want to touch base with you ahead of time to find out where you would like me to target that energy. If you have any particular thing you want to um, have worked on energetically and also to touch base after it's done just to let you know that I have sent the energy in to check in with you, see how you're feeling, that type of thing. Um, anybody who donates anything more than $50, what I would like to do is send you some Reiki energy. I would send you the same amount of minutes of Reiki energy as you send dollars. So say you donate $50, then I would send you 50 minutes of Reiki um, energy. Anybody who wants to donate and doesn't want to receive Reiki but knows somebody else that they would like to have the Reiki sent to, um, feel free to let me know that and we, you can gift that Reiki to somebody else and I will just touch base with them, make sure I have permission to send them that energy and um, talk to them about where they would like it targeted and all of that just like I would if I was sending that to you. Um, so that is what I've got going on, and I really appreciate, like I said, all of the help any of you can send. I know not everybody can send. Not everybody will want to send help, um, but I am hoping that there will be enough to get me into this quickly, quickly. Otherwise, I would probably have to wait, I don't know, six months, a year before I had this kind of uh, money to get myself into there and I don't want to wait that long. I want to be able to empower people more quickly than that. Um, so what I'm doing is I am in the description section on underneath the video. I'm going to send you a link where you can donate and you can choose whatever amount you want to donate. And um, I will probably also have that um, showing in the video as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you everybody for listening and for giving this some thought, some prayer, some attention. And um, thank you everybody who actually does donate as well. I appreciate it all. Thank you so much. Peace.